so really this equation here is just these three lines of code this is a simple neural network this is done in uh, labview i used labview for many years so that's what i'm used to see interestingly enough popping it into gpt4 it's able to explain what is it we are looking at so it says the image you have uploaded appears to be a schematic representation of a simple neural network it's a neuron model used in machine learning artificial data yes yeah we know that it shows the basic components of a neuron including inputs weights just can read text that's fine bias activation function in this case a sigmoid function so I must have just read that title and the output by the way yes in labview by default a function like that will not have a title so go figure what it actually <laughs> means that one is also not absolutely clear but all the rest is very straightforward not sure why not just use simple math equation instead and um, so it's giving a brief ex explanation of um, each part you have the inputs to the neural network the weights yeah, it's explaining giving a general explanation what weights are a bias akin to the intercept in the linear equation and is used to adjust the output along with the weighted sum okay and then the sigmoid is so this is a type of activation function that is commonly used in neural networks to introduce non-linearity to the model. It maps the input values to an output range between 0 and 1, and the output is the final output of the neuron after the weighted inputs have been summed with the bias and pass through the sigmoid activation function. And it does uh, recognize that this is actually LabVIEW because it says the layout and visual style suggests it might be created with a specific software for educational or simulation purposes possibly something like levy <laughs> okay it's not entirely sure but yes it is levy which is often used for creating simulations of systems and control models now if you used levy a lot you will be familiar with this yes but most people have no clue what levy even is so can gpt or translate this live view backend into maths which is way more common and yes surprisingly well not surprised enough if it's surprising or not you let me know in the comments but apparently yes it can so this seems to be a legit equation looks much neater much nicer quicker one line yes you know you need to know what each component is but there is a quick explanation out is the output uh, this one is represent the sigmoid activation function and there is a separate definition of a sigmoid activation function which is a standard textbook equation of a sigmoid function this bit represents the weights corresponding to each input that bit represents the input itself and plus the bias is the bias and n is the number of inputs so pretty straightforward i'm not sure if you can get this much information from the above uh, levio backend not that great and gives you a summary as well it also says that the sum inside the sigmoid function is a dot product yeah sounds legit of the weights and inputs which when added to the bias term yields the neurons total input the sigmoid function then transforms this input into the output between zero and one which is the final output of the neuron so that sounds great one note though uh, that the uh, sigmoid function activation has all sorts of problems uh, with it so if um, there are many other different models that are worth looking at gpt4 is able to translate this into python and again i use love you for many many years but this python looks pretty straightforward it has the basic equation for the sigmoid t4 is also able to convert the maths into python which even though i've been using labview for years python code is much cleaner more straightforward it actually shows you what inside uh, this box here what's inside the sig sigmoid function has the dot product for the weighted sum plus the bias and returns the sigmoid function on the weighted sum 
then you can have your inputs weights this define this whatever you want is set your bias and off you go you have your output so really this equation here is just this three lines of code this bit here doesn't even show you what's inside the sigmoid function which could be again another very simple equation for all this bit interestingly when asking gpt4 to generate labview code again it generated this wicked <laughs> image <laughs> that means absolutely nothing uh, unless it means something to someone else not not me let me know in the comments <laughs> But yeah, so so ChatGPT was able to translate this image into simple maths, which is the gold standard, the absolute common, most common thing that most people are familiar with. There's nothing overly complicated in this equation, some dot product and a sigmoid activation function that has a separate equation. In GPT-4 is able to translate this equation into Python in a very straightforward way that's probably because there's many examples on uh, github and uh, other websites not able to translate back into labview i was kind of surprised it was even able to recognize labview code which was quite quite interesting so this this example must be sitting somewhere on the web on which the image models were trained as well so there you go go might eventually turn something similar into a web application